Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this video today. Sort of a remake, I want to show you how to plant medium sized plants without the need for permanent plots or pots. The last video I did, I used something that's very difficult to get in the game, which is creative vegetables. I want to show you how to do it just with some very common, easily sourceable items within the game, okay? So the first thing you're going to need are 23 medium enchanted crock pots. 23 of them. You get these in Crocotopia from Charlie the Garden Sales Gnome or Mole or whatever he is. He sells these, so the, these can be had in Crocotopia. Also, and this is a contingency item, but you're going to need a small purple rug just in case. I think I illustrated this in the video I did for the small plants, and I don't think I explained quite what it was for. It's a contingency item in case you need to pull a single pot if you miss it, and it'll probably happen, so I'll be able to illustrate that for you. This is also a Crocotopia item. You can also get it in the bazaar. Uh, but it's sold by the housing vendor in Crocotopia next to the Croco Sphinx. You're going to need two tatami floor mats. These are either the Bazaar or Mushu. You need two of these. You're going to need two crate of ice cream. These are crown shop items. Buy them for gold. Use the gold option. I'll show you in a moment. This is also a crown shop item. The flat wood platform and you can get this for gold as well so in case you don't know just type in crate and crate of ice cream and click the gold tab buy two of them for gold same thing buy one flat wood platform for gold okay <clears throat> this method is pretty straightforward let me illustrate for you how this works the other thing that you'll probably want to do this as a mouse with a scroll wheel, okay? Um, I don't know if you could do it with a trackpad. I'm sure it's possible, but <clears throat> I haven't tried it and I don't know. It seems like it would be very difficult. So use a mouse. The next thing that you're going to want to keep in mind is not to exceed 207 seeds in any area. So the exterior of this particular house you don't want to go over 207 seeds, okay? All right, so the first thing we need to do with these pots, lay them out like this. So you're going to want to do three rows of five on the inside and then a row of four on the outside, staggered, and another row of four on the outside, staggered. Or offset, whatever you want to call it. It's not quite at the tip of this one. It doesn't really matter. You can line them up. Um, we're going to build this in three tiers, and it's going to allow us to cast a single utility gardening spell, a large spell, and hit the entire stack without needing a casting point. A pole, a rug, something embedded in here um, to facilitate the, the spell spreading. All right, so first thing, lay out your flat wooden platform. Highlight the flat wood platform. Give the mouse a spin, the mouse wheel a spin. And as you can see, when I do that, this cancel icon lights up. So click, spin, lights up. We're going to pick this up, the flat wood platform, using the move button. Now, in these, on these medium pots, we want to get our character about right here. And then find the center point. You want to put this platform about here so that the beads around the outside of the pots just show through, about there. Spin the mouse wheel, and then you're going to want to set this down, okay? Sometimes uh, you have to fight it, you, sometimes you don't. Just set it down, just keep moving the mouse until you can set it down. Once it's set down, you can move it by clicking the wood platform itself, you can move the entire thing, okay? So now we need to get the platform out from under the pots. The way we do that is we take our tatami floor mats, 
We're going to connect them end to end like so, so that they touch one another. Take the, the mat that's furthest back, shove it in, and then grab the mat that's closest to the platform and move the entire thing. Okay? Move it away from the pots. And then click this mat again and pick the entire thing up. All right, so we're ready to do our first tier. Okay, generally, I sort of violated one of my rules here, but generally what you want to do is a seed test just to make sure all the pots are fine. Usually they are, but just to make sure, do a quick pass over and make sure that the seed will actually go in each of the pots and it doesn't turn red. Now you can plant each one of these individually if you don't have the plant all spell. Feel free to do that until you're in Avalon and you can get that spell. Okay, that is our first tier. So we're gonna to need to pull these pots out. I'm gonna set down the plat flatwood platform, click it, scroll the wheel, pick it up, and again, put my character here. I'm gonna find about the center, which is here. And it looks like the, the platform is sitting down, that's fine, just scroll the wheel back and forth a couple of times, pull out the pots. Okay, you're going to want to set this down. Don't right click it. If you do, all the pots will move out from under the seeds. Um, when you go to pick up the entire thing, the pots will disappear. You'll have to exit the growing area and come back in. The pots will reappear back under the seeds and you'll have to pull them again. It's not a big deal. But I just want to let you know in case that happens. So the, the second tier, we're just going to set these pots down in this fashion, in the same pattern. Now it's gonna be off. Everything's gonna be canted to one side or the other. And it doesn't really matter which side that is. Okay, so it's gonna be three set, or three, a row, eh, three rows of five on the inside. And a row of four on the outside that's staggered or offset. You'll notice I'm sort of moving the character back and forth. Um, that facilitates the pots actually sitting down. Sometimes they won't snap into place, so you have to move the character. So I just do it as a matter of course. Okay. This is going to be our second tier. There's no need to do anything to it other than seed test it. Okay, it looks good. Okay. Now we need to pull these pots out again. Same thing, flatwood platform, set it down. Scroll it. We get it about right there. And scroll the wheel and pick up the pots. And pick up the flatwood platform. Okay, tier three, we're gonna put out our uh, crate of ice cream back to back like this. Set out our flatwood platform. We're gonna need two tatami floor mats. Oops. Wanna put them one on back to back. 
We're going to grab the back one, we're going to slide it under the platform, and then we're going to pick up the one closest to the platform. Pick it up, and we're going to set it on top of the crates. Okay? We're going to take one crate, this crate, and we're going to move it over, over top of our seeds. Okay. So in this case, we want to try to get this top row as close to the bottom tier as possible. Now it's not going to be perfect, but get it as close as possible. And that looks pretty okay. So we'll go with that. This is the first row of four on the outside. And then we want to do the inside row of five. You're gonna have to move this around a bit And the last row of four on the outside. Okay, then grab your crate, pull this all out. We're done with that, so pick it up. Do a seed test. And I think I'm going to run out of energy here, so... state plants. Okay, then we want to pull the pots away from the top tier, so set down our flat wood platform, spin it, and get it centered. Now, what I'm going to do on purpose, I'm going to mess this up to show you what the purple rug is used for. Okay, notice I, that I didn't quite get it centered. And I have left three pots behind. Now, you can use the flat wood platform, it's fine, but sometimes, especially if your item count is really close to the max, you may want to do this one by one. It's the same method. You just set down the purple rug, highlight it, spin it, pick it up, and put it on the edge of the pot about here. Spin the rug, and pull the pot. So that's what the purple rug is for. Like I said, it's a contingency item. You may or may not use it. It's just going to depend on your circumstances. And that is it. And you should be able to cast on the center plant and hit every single plant here without a casting point. Alright, thanks for watching. Appreciate it and enjoy.